Hello everybody and welcome to the Sorcerer Mickey Fan Guy channel. Today, I am really excited because we're going to open three of the brand new Disney 100th Anniversary Lego Minifigure Series. Now, when I saw the announcements and leaked photos of this minifigure series, I got super excited for it because of the inclusion of Sorcerer Mickey in this minifigure series. And now that the minifigures are out, I just can't wait to open them. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. But before we open the blind bags, let's have a look at the packaging. On the front of the packaging, we have a beautiful picture of some of the Disney characters you can get, such as Sorcerer Mickey, Robin Hood, Jiminy Cricket, Pocahontas, Miguel, and lots more. There's a total of 18 characters to collect, which sounds really exciting. On the top, we have that Lego minifigures logo. On the bottom, we have that Disney 100th anniversary logo. This is for ages 5 and up, and this is product number 71038. It also tells you that one Lego minifigure is included in each blind bag. On the back of the packaging, we have all of the warnings and the UPC. So now let's get our first bag open. But before we open our first bag, let's go ahead and feel the minifigure bag so we can try to guess which character could be hiding inside. Hmm. Okay, so I feel a round head with two long ears. My best guess for this could be Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now let's open the minifigure bag and see if my guess is correct. And it looks like I was right. We did get Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And it really is a good start to my Disney 100th Anniversary Lego Minifigure series. But before we build him, let's go ahead and look at the collector's guide. So here's the front of the collector's guide that tells you all of the characters you can get. So we can get Oswald in which we just got, Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket, Sorcerer Mickey, Tiana from Princess and the Frog, Dr. Fasilier who's also from Princess and the Frog, the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, Mulan, Ernesto from Coco, Miguel and Dante who are also from Coco, Pocahontas, Cruella from 101 Dalmatians, Robin Hood, Prince John who is also from Robin Hood, Experiment 626 Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, Baymax from Big Hero 6, and the Evil Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And here's the back with some instructions of how to build certain characters, and I love the artwork of the Sorcerer Mickey minifigure. Now let's get into building Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. And here he is, guys, all built up. Wow, he looks super cute. I love the expression on him, and the nose looks really good, and it really fits him so well. The ears are really well designed, and it looks really accurate to the shorts. And then moving down to the body, you can see that he is wearing blue shorts, which is an iconic detail. On the back of him, you can see a printed detail which is his cute fluffy tail. You can also see that on the display base, it says Disney 100 on it. And I love that detail because it makes the minifigure series so special. Now the only accessory that Oswald comes with is a 1x2 tile clapperboard piece. So it says Oswald, Act 2, Take 1. So I guess Oswald is a movie director. And to put it in his hand, just slot it in like this, and there you go. And now that we finished looking at Oswald, let's get our second minifigure bag. But before we open it, 
Let's field the minifigure back so we can try to guess who we're gonna get next. Hmm... Okay, so I feel a bow and arrow, so my best guess for this could be Robin Hood. And it looks like I was right. We did get Robin Hood. Now Robin Hood was another character in the series I got super excited for. And to have him as a minifigure is incredible because Robin Hood is super underrated. Now let's get into building Robin Hood. And here is Robin Hood all put together and man, he looks so well built and they did a great job with this minifigure. I love the face printing on Robin Hood, it looks really accurate to the movie. I also really like the fox fur sculpting details they did on the cheeks and it looks so good. Now, unfortunately, you can't remove Robin Hood's hat because the hat is part of the head design, but the red feather on his hat can be taken off. You also get three extra red feather pieces in case you lose them, which is really useful. By the way, I love the hat color and design. And moving down to the torso, you can see they did a good amount of printing on it, you can see some of the fox fur details, as well as his green shirt, as well as the belt, which looks really good. For the arms, you can see a bit of printing on the top half, which is his shirt sleeve, and you can also see the brown fur detail. On the back, you can see a bit more detail on his belt. Now, the only accessory you get with him is his bow and arrow which is pretty similar to the bow and arrow that came with Wicked the Ewok in the 75332 LEGO ATST. And moving down to the legs, you can see they did a bit more printing on them, and you can see his fox fur detail, you can see his green pants, and you can also see his green shoe detail. And on the back of him, you can see his fox tail, which looks super cute. It's made of a soft rubbery material, so you don't need to worry about breaking it. Surprisingly, they give a spare tail piece. And just like all Disney 100th Anniversary minifigures, each of them come with a black display base that says Disney 100 on it. And now that we finished looking at Robin Hood, let's get our third and final minifigure bag for this video. And just like what we did with the first two minifigures, we're gonna feel the blind bag and try to guess which character we could get inside. Hmm, this bag feels pretty puffy. So I feel a 6L bar Lego piece. And I also feel a wizard's hat with two round ears. So my best guess for this could be Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey. And it looks like we got the one and only Sorcerer Mickey. So it looks like my guess was correct because of the wizard hat, the round ears, and the 6L bar Lego piece. Now Sorcerer Mickey was a character from the series I wanted so badly, and the fact that I got him today makes it even more exciting. Now, please note that Sorcerer Mickey is one of the characters in the minifigure series that has a plastic bag inside the minifigure bag. And now that everything is out of the minifigure bag, let's go ahead and build Sorcerer Mickey. There's also some instructions of how to build his broom and bucket, so let's follow the instructions. And now that Sorcerer Mickey is all built up, 
Let's have a look at him. Wow, he looks so beautiful. I love the face printing on him. He just looks so adorable. I love his mouth, his nose, and his cute little eyes. I also really like the printing on the hat with the silver stars and moon. It just looks super cool. Now, unfortunately, you can't remove the sorcerer hat because the hat is part of the head design, but the color looks so good. So here's the back of the head. And moving down to the torso, you can see they did a good amount of printing. I really like his red robe, and I really love the sparkly details on it. It looks so magical. I also really like his rope, which is tied around his body, and the color of the rope is yellow. On the back, you can see a bit more torso printing, and you can see a bit more of that magical sparkly detail on the robe, and you can see a bit more of his yellow rope. For the arms, there's not really any printing on them, but I really like the color of the rope sleeve, which is red. Now the accessories that he comes with are his broom and bucket. So looking at the broom, you can see that it has a really long handle, which is brown. And I really like the broom head details. It looks really cool. So to put it in his hand, just stick it in like this, and there you go. So here's the bucket. It's got a bucket handle, which is gray, and it's meant for Sorcerer Mickey to hold on. And you can see the main bucket is brown, and you can also move the bucket handle, which is a really fun feature. You also get a spare bucket handle piece, just in case you lose it, which is really useful. And to put the bucket in Sorcerer Mickey's hand, just slot it in like this, and there you go. And moving down to the legs, you can see some printing on it, such as a bit more detail on his red robe as well as the beautiful, magical, sparkly silver details on it. You can see his blue pants, and you can also see his yellow shoes. And here's the back of the legs, with a bit more red and black. And just like all of the Disney 100th Anniversary minifigures, each of them come with a black color display stand that says Disney 100 on it. And that, guys, concludes our video where we open three packs of the new Disney 100th Anniversary minifigures. So this means we have three characters down, 50 more to go. And honestly, Robin Hood, Sorcerer Mickey, and Oswald were a really great start to the Disney 100th minifigure collection. And I can't wait to get the rest, and who knows, maybe I'll complete the set. So if you enjoyed the video, Please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Please like the video. Leave a comment if you would like because it really helps the channel. I also have Instagram and Twitter. So if any of you haven't followed me on IG or Twitter, I'll be sure to leave a link to those accounts in the description below. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.